Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Let's start with this exercise. So we would like to ask the user to enter a number and then we display the number if it's even or odd. One thing though, is the number, did I specify what's the data type of that number? That we need to read? Yes, so we forced you into using integer. So if you use something else like float, I've seen some of you so using float or double, that's right, that's working, it's working, but you're not answering this question. And if it was the quiz, well, I'm focusing on the question. Even if what you give me is okay, but if it is not exactly answering my question, then you might lose some marks because of that. So we're going to be then needing to declare an int. Of course, we need to read something. Whenever you see in a question, write a program that reads, for, for you in your mind, it must mean that you need to use scanner in order to be able to get the information from the keyboard in order for your program to be able to read something from the keyboard so I will use the scanner however uh, if I'd like to use the scanner I need to import java.util.scanner and then I'm going to do go scanner let's name it kb equal new scanner and system.in Okay, and now I'm going to ask the user to enter enter a number. Or maybe just make it on the same line. And then I need to read. So let's declare a variable int. Let's call it number and then put something that is going to give us the number, which is kb.nextInt. Now that I have the number, I just need now to check if the number is odd or even. You remember from last time we said that if the reminder of the division of any number I uh, by 2 is equal to 0, that's mean that means it's even. If it's equal to 1, it's odd. So I can do something like this. If the number, and I use a reminder division of that number with 2, if this is equal to 0, it means, okay, number and then I'm going to add something I would like to display the number that was entered by the user and on display is notice the space between the is and the number before yeah sure notice the space between the number or the is and then uh, I can display it also on your screen if you want but yeah I didn't because I asked who wants to have this on the screen so nobody just so yeah it's okay you can sit here so a uh, number, I have put the space after the number, that means whatever the user typed, I'm going to display it, and then I'll display space is, and then, in this case, because it's the result of the reminder, the division, uh, the reminder, the division by two is zero, that means it's even. I'm going to be copying this because I'm going to put an else. If this is not even, what other choice does it have to be? If it's not even, that means it is odd. No, no need to. So you can see here now, this is just making sure that I opened and closed at the right place. And this is closing the main method, so I'm not going to touch it. So thi that's it. What happens if, uh, let's run it first and then let's do some experiments. If we run this now, we're going to be asked to enter a number. Whatever number you enter, it's going to tell you if it's odd or even. So this is odd in this case, and if I run it and whatever, and end up with, so this is even. So it seems to be working. Did you realize that this did not stop by testing only one case and said, okay, my program is working. I had to test both cases to make sure that my program works in both cases. If you just type your code and then try one and think, oh, khala, since this one f works, that means the other one will work, maybe not. So you have to be careful and always try to uh, double check all the situations. What happens if I use, for example, I change this, if I ask if the reminder of the division of the number is equal to 1? I just need to swap these lines. Now, because it's 1, it should be odd. If it's not odd, it should be even. 
So I can ask the qu different questions and get the same result. The objective is I ask a question based on the answer to this question. I'm doing something. So if the answer to this question is true, then uh, it means this is odd. So I'm displaying odd. If this is the answer to this question is false, then I'm displaying even. Okay. Any questions? So that's the first. That's the first exercise. Okay, what happens, we said if we change this code to this thing and uh, using two ifs without else. We've checked that it was working. Remember, if we try, try with five, it works. If we try it again and put with four, it works again. Always test all cases. If you all have different cases, if you have five cases, you have to test five of them. Make sure that you all these are tested so your program works in all different cases. What I'd like you to realize now, this is working. However, how many questions am I asking in this program before finding the right answer? And even after I've found the right answer. I always ask this question. If it's true, I get in. If it's false, I get out. And then I find another question. So even if it was true, for example, the number was odd, I'm going to get inside, display this is odd, and then get out and ask again, is the number even? So I'm always asking two questions in this scenario. If I'm using something like this, now I'm asking one question. If it's odd, I'm saying, okay, it's odd, and that's it. I'm not going to ask another question if it's even. No. I'm asking, okay, only one question. This is odd, yes? then get inside and display this and then get out there are no other questions asks, asked and if it's this was false then I get in the else and display this without asking another question so in this case I'm asking only one question the other one asks two questions does it make a dis difference? well for one or two questions not, not that much but for example if you're working on many things when you have asking a lot of different questions and then one question that is extra means the system is working extra. For our computers, that's fine, but maybe for a mobile device, it's going to be slightly slower than if this program is going to be slightly faster than the previous one on some really low end, I mean, some uh, very slow devices. So always, when you solve a problem, first of all, try to solve it the easiest way for you. Then, if you can improve it, then think about these, these things. How many questions I'm asking? Do I have a lot of repetition? Things like that. For example, there's some repetition that I can avoid, which let's show. Every time you notice that I have number plus exactly is odd, and why? What would happen if if I do something like this? For example, let's copy this, and then I'm going to change this to uh, system that prints number plus, and then I'm going just to do something like this and change all those to either it's only odd or it's even. So in all cases, I'm going to display this and then is, and I cannot display the rest until I ask this question. Once I ask this question, I know what else I should add. Notice the spaces again between the is and uh, before, before is and after is. Now if I run this, it's exactly the same result. Five is odd. However, for me, it's less programming. Well, for this case, it's very simple. I didn't uh, have to type much. But if you have a lot of different cases, you have to think about trying to summarize things up.